What is going on, beautiful people? It's your boy here, Wesley from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place on the World Wide Web where we actually adopt similar connections to find our differences. And welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, definitely follow me on all social medias, Twitter and Instagram at A Connection TV. ACTV Plus is the one I really care about, though. Listen, um, uh, quite a few of you responded to my I Need Advice video. Um, and so I, 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 Pose the title or I made the title say, I need advice so that you guys can like, like engage with me. Right. And open up conversation in the dialogue, uh, uh, in the, uh, open up conversation in the comment section. Um, because outside of my culture club, I don't really do a lot of vlogging about regular life. I used to back in the way, way days. I mean, people that have been following me since 2005 may remember, uh, bathtub confessionals. I used to I used to talk about a lot of things. My life was very open and candid on um, YouTube. Not so much anymore, but th my life is still kind of like an open book, right? I'm very much single. I'm very much happy being single. I will not get in a relationship for as long as I, and I just don't see it ever happening. Um, my level of understanding of myself is at a all time high and I'm at a, in, in a state of my life or a stage of my life where there's no wiggle room with who I am as a person. Cause I love who I am as a person, a hundred percent. Right. Um, and so all of the trying things out and trying to make this work and trying to bend the knee for this person and their personality and trying to understand this person and because the way they are and trying to be accepted and trying to, I'm, I'm not trying anymore. I love who I am. I'm good to people and I only want them to be good to me as well. I treat people the way that I want to be treated. At the same time, I don't allow for myself to be disrespected in any way, shape or form because I don't disrespect people. Right. So the title of this video was arguing. I need advice because it seems like I'm at a point in my life where arguing will get you dismissed. Arguing will make me look at you extremely different. Arguing will make me thinking that I'm dumb and thinking that I'm even dealing with a dumber person because they can't uh, simply articulate how they feel and they have to argue. And so for me, I just don't have any comeback for that. I really don't. And you know, I was in a very, very, very toxic situation with someone and we argued maybe four to five times a month. It got really, 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 really bad. And I allowed myself to be subjected to that because I was dumb. I was trying to make sure that I tried everything to make something work. I was dumb. And I was in a situation where I was worried, scared maybe about how things would end up uh, with that person. And so I allowed myself to stick around and be in that situation. And I guess I went through all that to realize that that's not what I need to propel myself in life. That's not what I need to make myself feel comfortable with who I am as a person. That's not what I need in general to com to get my point across and to try to get someone to understand my viewpoint, because I feel like that's when people argue is that they're trying to get you to understand their viewpoint and their viewpoint matters to them. And for whatever reason, you're not connecting the dots for them. So they feel like they need to raise their voice and, and yell. Um, because of that toxic situation and because of my upbringing with me as a child and me dealing with my mom and my father, and their like verbal abuse of each other and verbal onslaught to each other. And just through life, just carrying myself through life and trying to trying to figure things out and trying to understand where we are and who I am as a person and just realizing what I like and don't like, right? I love positive energy. I hate negative energy. And so for me, I've gotten to a point where arguing around me, arguing with me or at me, I just, I can't be around it. 
and I choose not to be around it. There have been some individuals that have argued at my house for whatever particular reason. They no longer are welcome to my house. I'm no longer their friends, um, their friend. There have been people that have argued at work or whatever. I no longer talk to those people. I don't really, I just can't with that. And so I distance myself with them, no longer work with them, whatever the case may be. And there are people that are like relatively close to me that can't seem to figure out how to articulate how they feel without raising their fucking voice. And for me, it's harder for the people that I care about because I care about them. It's easy for me to get rid of anybody else out of my life because it's just that easy. But my question to y'all, and I feel like let's, you know, have a conversation, a dialogue in, in below the video, is why do people argue just to get their fucking point across? And why do they think they need to raise their voice so they can be louder and dumb your dumb your opinion down or whatever it is that you're saying, dumb your opinion down so they can be over you in hopes that that'll get you to get to understand. Like that for me is just so crazy to me. I'm a grown ass adult. And so like arguing, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. I just, <laughs> I don't understand it. I really don't. Um, and I've just gotten to a point where there's not a lot of apologizing. There's not a lot of, oh, my bad. I was having a bad. I don't really care no more. I, I, I just don't really care anymore. If you are the type of person that cannot articulate yourself in a calm, respectful demeanor, and you feel like you got to argue your point across, especially to a person like me, that's highly intelligent in terms of understanding simple shit. Because I feel like once you get to a point of arguing, you're arguing over simple shit, you know? And so for me, it's like, it's doses on that. I I, I suffer from um, high blood pressure. My high blood pressure is attributed mainly to uh, stress. And I don't need anyone in my life stressing me the hell out, right? And so I see a lot of people going through stuff like, People doing going through DV and uh, you know VA and and all the stuff that I went through, I just I will no longer allow myself to deal with any of that anymore. And so yeah, for the people out there, why do y'all go through? Why do y'all continue to go through it? I already said my reasons on why I was going through something. Um, and I think, I guess I needed to go through all that to put me in a position where I am today, where I won't just, I just won't tolerate it anymore. It's another reason why I'm not really sick in a relationship or being in a relationship with someone because I can control me and I love the person that I am. I can't control the person that I'm with. And because everybody has their own clock that takes and I have my own clock that takes, I just don't want to be on a receiving end of if your clock stopped working and you just want to. You know what I'm saying? You're having a bad day. Somebody says something to you and you got, you want to be all rah, rah. Don't understand it. Don't really care what you're going through anymore. Don't understand the tone of voice, the volume that you're raising your voice. Who are you talking to? I need you out of my space immediately. Like T.I. says, expeditiously. Get going. Kicks rocks. I don't want to be around you no more. Stop talking to me. You have a simple mind for brains, and I just don't care. I just don't care. <laughs> I just don't care no more. I was talking to somebody just yesterday, and it was like, uh, they were expressing to me how they felt about how, for whatever reason, I wasn't seeing signs or whatever the case may be. And I was like, what signs are you talking about? And they was like, Wesley, don't do that. I'm like, how, how am I supposed to know that you like me? How am I supposed to know that you're attracted to me? How am I supposed to know that you want Curtis? How am I supposed to know any of the things that are happening within your mind, brain, body, spirit, and soul unless you show me or tell me I'm not going to automatically assume that you want the kid? And I kind of transitioned to a different side. <laughs> I kind of transitioned to a different uh, topic because I think it's really interesting how people man maneuver themselves in awkward situations or 
or maybe not even awkward, but unknowing situations, mainly regarding you liking someone, you crushing on someone, they crushing on you, whatever the case may be. How do you get that person to understand that? Right. And I said, through actions and through words, can that be possible? Right. Through actions, you know, taking somebody on a date, paying for the meal, um, you know, sending, uh, you know, good day to you texts or, you know, going to their favorite show or taking them to somewhere that you know that they like or something like that. Or if it's somebody new, extending that in a way where you would normally have fun in hopes that they will have fun. Y'all can connect the dots and have commonality with each other or just saying, Wes, I think you're attractive and I really like you. How do I get to know you? Right. People don't do that anymore. And a lot of individuals expect me to understand that they have these feelings for me. And I'm like, how am I supposed to get that if you don't say shit to me? I don't understand that. So people, do y'all have that problem out there? Do people be like, oh, you should have known. Like, oh, I ba 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 ba, And you're like, okay. Like, what? Why? how? Why should I have known? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. I'm rambling at this point. But um, two things. When is enough enough for you with regards to people that argue with you? Comment below. And how do you know or how do you want someone to tell you or for you to figure it out that they are crushing on you and they want you to reciprocate those feelings? That's what I need you to talk about. Those two topics. And on that note, do says and don't argue with me because it's do says for you. Okay. And if you like the kid, just say, I like you. I think you're attractive. Let's get to know each other. Although I don't want no damn relationship right now because people are crazy. Okay. And I don't need my peace disrupted by no one. So I'm not looking. Someone would have to be like really spectacular. And our commonality would have to be on an eight or a seven for me to even think about it. And then even then, it's going to take a lot. Because people are a lot. And I can do bad all by myself.